Welcome back. You're looking at a stripped down deadbolt showing off the new brass portal kit from Mofo RC. So if you haven't seen the install, I did a full kind of overview and install of this kit. And since then, the biggest question I've gotten is about wheel fitment. So we're going to jump in and take a look at some of the wheels I own with and without weights and see what fits. First up is probably some of the most common wheels, the RC four wheel drive stamp steel beadlocks. So I went ahead and put uh, one on there with the full send uh, wheel weight inside because if this fits, they all fit. And as you can see, there's good clearance at the portal. And that's kind of how far they stick out right there. So they work, so all the non-weighted color variants will work. And I've got a flipped uh, hub I'll throw on there just so you can see what that offset looks like. And all right, got the deep dish variant. So that's fully outside the portal box. So no, no clearance issues there. So that's it for the steelies. All right, next up, I've got some less common RC four wheel drive uh, aluminum wheels. I've got these black Rhino wheels and those look pretty clear inside. And then I've got uh, the RC four wheel drive aluminum beadlocks, which they make these in several different styles. And these are not going to work uh, with these cylinders, I think, all the way to the back edge of the rim, but we'll, we'll see. Um, they may. Yeah, they're, they're hitting the top edge. I guess the top edge is closer to the wheel than the bottom edge, so these are going to require some kind of hex spacer uh, to bring the wheel out if you were to want to run this style wheel. So let's check these. And these, uh, looks like there's no problem. Yeah, there's plenty of space in there. So you've got that smooth face at the hub. So it looks like the black rhinos are good, get good thread engagement. So it's a no for this style. Um, they make the eight hole, they make the breaker, they make maybe a solid uh, classic one, but they all mount with these four holes. So these aren't gonna work. So uh, we'll move on to the next type. Okay, next up we've got the three styles basically from SSD. Uh, the Challenger, the D-hole, and then the, the five slot, I guess. And uh, this is a six lug, where this is actually a five lug, both of these old styles. But you can see that the screw heads aren't recessed, that they do stick up past that hub face. So we'll see if that becomes an issue. It doesn't look to be. Looks like we're clearing that top rim edge just fine. That's kind of the offset there. I knew that was going to happen. All right, get the pin reset. So we'll try the, let's actually try the Challenger with the six lug pattern on the back. And again, looks like there is plenty of space. That is your offset. No issues, looks like with the SSDs. I'll throw this black one on there just to see. But uh, yeah, those look good. All right, moving on to the next type and replacing the pin again. All right, the next set we've got here are pretty common as well. These are trio wheels. This is the only style I have, um, but I'm assuming that the other styles have the same open backside like this. So I don't think these are going to be a problem. These should slip right on and they do. No problem. Plenty of clearance. And these can also accept 
the brass, full send, RC four wheel drive wheel weights. I don't have any loose, mine are all stuck in these type wheels. So I can't test that, but I assume they probably fit with the full send since the RC four wheel drive fit either way. Um, so it's a yes for the trio. The next trio I've got here are not specifically all one type, but they're fairly common. They fairly, they get knocked off, I guess, fairly common. There's a bunch of different brands. Um, so this is Power Hobby and it's this style. And it's one of the few that's got the recessed uh, countersunk screws. So they're flush with that hub face in there. So I really like that about these. I don't think this will be an issue. These are NHX uh, wheels or Nitro Hobbies. And this style is pretty open in the back. I think those screws stick out a little, but they're small and they're at the outer face. Um, so this one's probably good to go. And this is also NHX. I've seen this knocked off a lot. And this just has five screws, but they're fairly big, uh, 1.5 millimeter, and they're not recessed either. So uh, this is questionable. So we'll see. So let's uh, try these out. So let's check out this Power Hobby first. And yeah, that's perfect. Clears the top edge just fine. Try this NHX. Good to go. Plenty of clearance. Now let's try the uh, other NHX. And this one's supposed to work. Yeah. Clearing the, clearing the hub edge, and I guess if those screw faces don't stick far enough to hit the cover, I'm going to tighten this one on. Oh yeah, these appear to uh, work fine. They're mounted up. Look at that. So they've got clearance, and uh, those bolts in there, those heads don't stick out far enough to hit the brass housing. And you've got just a little bit of clearance to the rim there. So uh, this style works and uh, just check the back of your rim to see kind of what uh, your bolt pattern is on some of these style rims uh, that are just put out under a lot of different names. So you got the flush, you got this kind of style with the smaller ones and then you've got this one that aren't flush. So it appears that all three types work. All right, the next style is a lot less common. Um, these are RC four wheel drive Rage aluminum, uh, true bead locks on both sides. And these are kinetic uh, aluminum bead locks. Same thing, true bead lock rings on each side. And because of that thickness of the ring, um, I don't think these are gonna work. And we will confirm that real quick. And no, so these would need a brass like hex spacer because they really, yeah, you can see that those, if it's not the ring, it's definitely the screw heads that get into it. So I'm going to pretty much guarantee this RC four wheel drive won't work either. Well, I pretty much guaranteed, but I may be wrong. This looks like it might be squeaking by. I'm going to cinch this one up just to confirm. All right, well confirmed. These uh, Rage RC four wheel drive bead locks do not work either. So none of these true bead locks uh, work. They have the diameters too small, the rings too wide, these screw heads stick out. So, you know, of course, Kinetic makes these millstone five millimeter hex extension weights. So, uh, you know, Typically you can use some hex extension weights, but I'm having a problem getting these to seat. I thought it was the pin, but I swapped the pin, but you can see they won't even go on the shaft. So they're getting caught on the inner diameter of that brass. So I don't know, um, your mileage may vary. You could just try some various uh, hex spacers. I don't really have a bunch. I don't run many. Uh, this is one of the only sets I've got, but uh, you can always drill out that diameter a little um, 
or just not run this type of wheel. So anyways, we're gonna move on. Okay, here we've got stock wheels. And you're wondering, why am I testing these? I had these on initially in the install. Well, I did, I had stock wheels on, but I wanted to test the stock wheels with the uh, uh, stock wheel weights in there. These are the Hot Racing KMC Machete brass wheel weights in the stock wheels and tighten down, they touch. That's a full bind right there. So um, I don't think those are gonna work without, again, some kind of spacer or shim. Um, of course, if you loosen them, but then they're, they're quite wobbly. So let's see how, how snug we can get them. So that, that's questionable. These, these might squeak by, um, not that a ton of people have the stock tires with these weights, but if you do, I think, I think I'm going to give those a pass on the stock wheels with the KMC machetes. If they're not cranked all the way tight, uh, which they shouldn't be, uh, I think you can get away with running these weighted wheels. So I think we'll give a pass to the stock wheels, weighted and unweighted. The last set here is obviously the portal specific uh, wheels that, that take away all that offset you get from the portals. And then I don't think I ever installed these in that initial video. These have the plus three uh, hubs on them. These are the UPW rims from Mofo RC. So I'm gonna put both of these on just to get the drastic difference in offset. There you go. You can't see the portal in the rear at all. And you can actually see the axle sticking out from the portal box in the front. So you can imagine if you put a plus six uh, MoFo hub on this UPW rim, you'd be way out here. Um, but that's kind of the, the offset comparison. Sorry, I don't have these both attached. But uh, Hopefully that gives you kind of a, a quick overview, at least of the, t of the wheels that I own, uh, the different types um, of what's gonna fit on there initially. And, you know, there's variances all over the place with brands and hexes, so your mileage may vary, but hopefully this is a good starting point primer. So hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for something else.